Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, this this video is uh, is talk about how to um, adjust the brakes. Okay, first of all, we need the tools um, from Husky. This is a very good tools. They came with one set, and then also we can buy this. This is a five mm. It's about three dollar from Home Depot. Uh, and also, I purchased one set of this. So I have one more 5mm and two 5mm and I also purchased this like a, it's like a, uh, maybe 16 to 18 dollar from Home Depot. It's, this tooth is perfect for the whole scooter. Okay, so the brake adjustment. Number one, we need to understand we cannot use this because when this is only for you to go out uh, 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 temporary tie up a little little bow or little screw that's helping for temporary it's not good for the whole scooter so please don't use this to adjust the, the scooter this is only for going out and um, the, fir the first thing we need to do is put the scooter up in the air make sure don't damage the handlebar uh, they are not touching on the floor so they can be moving and uh, either the front motor or the back motor, we have to use the 18 mm to open. Uh, either take out the motor, replace the tie, or replace the motor. We still have to do this 18 mm on this side, and then another 18 mm socket. You can do the long socket or the short socket, uh, but the long socket will be better. Just remember, it's 18 mm, so we can use. Uh, we can take this out and plug this in to open the um, the motor. Um, number one, open the motor. Just make sure if you see inside has a one washer, so they will that washer will be stay will be go back to there. Okay, outside has a one washer, uh, and then uh, 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 a a nut in here. Okay, so this is that usually at least one washer inside. So let's take a look on this side. So they have a bolt, they have a washer lock, and they have a washer right, right, right inside the frame. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna lose. We're gonna. We of course we're gonna take it out of the motor, or just if this is a brake alarm, we don't have to take out the motor. So open up, get loose, open it up and get loose, and then let the gravity adjust the motor to the perfect alignment. This is very important. This is the first step we have to be adjust the brake. It's loose both sides of the bolt and then we tighten it. Front motor, back motor, we have to do that. Whenever we upside down the scooter, uh, we need to we need to lose the bolt. Make sure the washer one washer is inside and then we tighten it so we can get the perfect alignment. Um, the motor alignment first and then the second video, we're gonna go for the how to adjust the brakes. Okay, uh, this is the um, the brake system address number two. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand this is the brakes. Okay, they have a left and right brakes. Okay, so this one, when you turn it in, go go to the middle and. This one, yeah. when you turn it in, go to the middle. So that's how we tie it up. For example, this is a brake disc. So this one is controlling the um, the front brakes, uh, the brake pads. When you when you turn them in, so the brake pad will be more close to the brake disc. Um, when you turn it out, that's opposite way. Okay, when you when you when you twist it out. Um, not to the middle, so that will be losing, like adjusting the brake pads, either losing, so they will be more out. That's that's like this. When you want to tie, you just like more tie into the brake disc. So that's how we uh controlling the brake pads on this one and this one. Okay, we can talk about the sensor later. Um, but first of all, we need to adjust how to adjust the brakes. First of all, we always have to be loose a little bit, um, loose a little bit on both sides, and then we're gonna go down to adjust the brakes. 
okay so let's take a look at the carpenter okay on top of it they have two screws okay they either like this the front motor is like like turn around straight but the back the brake brake back motor they they like this okay so this screw and this screw is controlling left and right like this okay so losing two two screw they can be left and right like this okay and underneath not on the top underneath we can put washer to control we add a washer they will be more up if we take out taking out the washer out so they will be more down so on same screw this one and this one on underneath so they can add they can fill in more washer or they can take out more washer that's how they adjust up and down and then this one is adjust left and right so it's complicated uh, the scooters go this way okay so they can adjust left and right always taking this two screw out with the 5 mm must be using this tool because this is the better tools for the scooter or using another 5 mm uh, that would be much more better just open in here open in here and then the other hand is closing in here so when you're closing that means the brake pass will be making tight to the brake disc just hold hold all the way to the brake disc after you number one hit on the brakes and holding not moving and holding and then number two so we can tie up the screw in here so they will be perfectly because when they when you're holding the bricks that means the brake pass is holding the brake there's no space so that's how we adjust the bricks after you tie up those screw you release it and then you roll the motor so you can find the perfect adjustment number one holding the brake number two tie up the top screw that's that's very easy to adjust left and right make making no sounds no noise from between the brake disc and the brake pad okay now we up to the uh, third radio the number three radio on the uh, brake adjustment okay so for example this is the uh, uh, um, a brake from the back so we can open to see it easier so number one we're gonna talk about the um, hydraulic wire we need an AMM just simply make them uh, tight up a little bit so do not you don't need to over tight the oil is not going to be leaking because they have a rubber inside so whenever you make it tight just tight soft tight is fine just but just make sure they're not leaking okay so secondly that has a little pin to control two side of the brake pad make sure this pin is in here uh, if you know if you don't have the pin no matter how you adjust the brake pad is not going to be normal okay and we're gonna go over in here so if you lose it on with the 5 mm to make them loose so they can be left and right left and right so you can adjust it so last video uh, we already know we can hold on the brake hold position holding and then they will be auto adjust to the right position after you're holding you just tight up everything will be easier just a soft tie and then double check on underneath so just to look at the gap uh, and and spin a little bit so if you don't hear any sound that means it's perfect but if they need to adjust it uh, you can simply use your hand to to moving make sure the brake disc is not touching the brake pad so you can use your hand to move left and right for the adjustment so uh, it's very easy just simply after you moving to the right you just just turn it and then you still have to be uh, holding or no holding is still fine just make sure the brake disc is not touching the brake pad then we can make it tight by manually okay so uh, and also make sure the brake disc they could be 160 or 140 52 volt is 140 
are 60 volt, everything should be 160 and must be follow the error. Okay, uh, if you put the motor like this, you will remember the error like this. So, next time you're gonna put the error like this to make sometimes you have to make sure those screw is tight so the brake will be much more better. So, this is the number four to controlling in here. Um, after you make it tight, you also have to check here. Okay, so one washer should be right inside. That's that's the motor inside. The motor supposed to be inside straight like this. So the one washer inside is blocking the motor and the body frame, the the arm. And outside they have one lock washer. It should be look like this. So this one is should be locked right here, and then close the bolt. That's this is how inside left side is like this right side is like this so remember they have always a washer in here so sometimes this washer maybe will be adjust left and right to the uh, capita okay if sometimes uh, you need to be adjust maybe the the arm this arm is is losing or by some accident we still can adjust it right here we can put we can take out the washer or we can put one more washer but Basically, we need one washer in here, so to make the to holding the motor much more better. So that's why how how we adjust it. If you add one more washer, the brake will be go that way. Um, this is how we adjust it. So one washer is actually is good enough. And then uh, if you want, if we want to adjust higher, we can put the washer in here. But usually, uh, we don't need to do this. Um, the only thing is. When when sometimes when when the brick this is not right, you gotta make sure you have a washer inside, one washer outside, a wash washer lock. So this is how they uh, exactly decided. Okay, now we up to the uh, fourth video, the number four video. Okay, so we already understand how to adjust left and right, up and down, and ties and loose and loose and tie okay so now we're gonna we're gonna see this is a brick disc this is a brick pad this is a pin so it's very important the pin is controlling the two brick discs I mean at the pad those brick pad they usually can go very long time if you adjust them good but usually one year two year no problem but it depends if you don't adjust it good maybe two months the brick pad will be gone but this is like a very good one and the brick this is very good too but make sure the error and the number is correct okay so now what is the best way to adjust the bricks first of all we need to able to see underneath the bricks okay like if if in, in the daytime we can see through on the floor so we can see are they touching in 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 the tunnel but if in the night time we can put the light underneath so we can see through just like you can see my hand you can see through so to see is very important like the brick is supposed to be straight like this so on top you can be touching on top so you're gonna give them a little space and left and right you should give them a little space like uh, I can hold them very well but but make sure it's not touching make sure it's not touching so this is perfect on top we need some space left and right uh, we still need some space just make sure the brick this is it right in the tunnel right in the middle okay so this screw is this two screw losing they can be moving left and right adjust them straightly and then uh, if they're not high enough you can take out the screw and put the washer right in the middle so the whole camera that will be go up a little bit so you got more room to go up so that's why uh, we can we can understand but we need to find the way to see inside of the tunnel it's difficult to find the way to see it um, because even we know how to adjust left and right up and down or adjust uh, loose and tight but the better way is you need to find something lighting from underneath. You can either upside down the scooter or 
turn around back or, or, or usually they just can um, you can see through by here uh, on the front brake is more easier so because they are stand up so you can you can see through very easy on on the top of it so you can you can put some light on underneath or in the daytime you can always see through from 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 the, from the top to see down or from the down to see top because the brick is like a straight but on the back the the brick carbon dot is like is like this so it's very hard to see it so upside down the scooter you can see it from 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 the back to to there so find the way either upside down or 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 the scooter stand up so that's that's how we adjust the brakes but with the lighting will be much more perfect either on top or on the bottom okay now we up to the fifth video the number five video on the brake system so we don't need this we don't need this we need this and this so this is a 5 mm um 5 mm we can see it right here so i would like to put the scooter like this uh if i'm adjusting the brake if i want to replace the tire and motor i need to upside down the scooter but uh, fixing the brakes is always doing like this is fine so a higher higher chair and you can also sit down that would be much more easier ah okay so let's take a look uh inside okay so it can't see very clearly on the radio but we can see how to adjust it because uh, i can't put my phone very close um uh, how do I usually adjust? Okay, number one, I am holding the brakes and keep holding. And then the other hand, I am taking this 5 mm to make it loose, to make it loose like this. Okay, so after I make it loose, make sure I'm holding the brake a couple of times and hold it. Okay, when I hold it, then I can I I can't see nothing because the brake will be close it. So I can't do it perfectly. I just can simply soft tie. Just show you the step by step soft tie, and then we're gonna roll opposite. But make sure your key is not is not on. Okay, um, put, just put the key in somewhere in here. Okay, so no scratching, no touching, that means it's perfect. And then on top is no touching. So this is the perfect design. So after we have a soft tie and then second, we need to hold them again tightly and then make them more tight. Okay. Oops. So um, this is how I usually do the back brake. The front brake is, is also we can do this. So we can put, we don't have to float it and let them stand up one hand holding and then one, one hand tightening. So it's the same thing, step by step. But, um, but uh, if we have something touching in here, we just have to move because they are very close. You can see. The camper down and the motor is very close. We can add a washer in here so they can go up. Just make sure the inside they has a washer because we need to push the uh, but the body, mm -hmm. the arm and the brake disc they have a gap. So we need a wash at least one washer from inside. So this is very important. If we don't have the washer inside, that means uh, very difficult to adjust the brakes. Okay, uh, well, after a couple times, uh, I think everybody can be picked up very easy. So the next question is, what about the disc? Because you can see the floor, when you're driving a scooter, if you hit the rock or you jump from the sidewalk, sometimes it hit, it, it, the rocks and the sidewalk can hit the brick disc because it's only like a three inch from the floor. So it's very easy to, e either you move up and down to the stairway, sometimes it hits it so the the disc will be bended so when the disc is bended of course we can replace a disc but it's going to be heavy we're going to unplug the wire unplug the motor and then take all the wire out and then replace the brick 
this and take it all, all the way and then we connecting the wire and put everything back inside there it's so complicated but usually we have some idea to adjust the bricks this too let's go for the next video okay now we're gonna up to the sixth video so number six video okay my hand is not a big hand um, but we don't need a big size we don't need a big size we only need a small size okay um, so sometimes when you bend it the disc so that this is like cook it some like 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 when you make a turn sometimes this side touching on that side and then you keep turning and then on 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 right here the other side half circle on the disc they touching this so it's like a s like a the the brick disc is not like a straight one but it looks like a s ah uh, so how are we gonna fix it don't worry a small size okay so we're gonna look at here inside when they rolled it to here oh um the this on this part is touching this this brick pad and on this brick pad they have a lot of gear so don't worry we're gonna so make sure the key is not here the key should be in here somewhere okay make sure nobody touch the um the throttle because it could be cut your finger very be careful so make sure no keys okay so we're gonna keep looking and inside okay so for example like this is touching on that side for example the brick this is touching on that side we're gonna we're gonna use the finger in here to to go down in here so i know this area is more too close to that side so i'm, I'm i need to bend this back to to this side how are we gonna do turn around like this so i know exactly from here it's because i move here from to here so i'm gonna put it in and close it and then i'm gonna turn my head to this side then i'm gonna see okay i'm gonna hold on to the motor like this because i need to bend this side so i'm gonna bend it i'm gonna bend it let me put this fit on okay so i'm gonna bend it bend it okay and i'm gonna bend it bend it okay okay so after i bend it they should be go because they should go a little bit more than that side so look at those holes okay we cannot bend on the middle because if you bend it on the middle this is going to be no use okay so must be bend from here and then bend from here and then bend from here okay you can bend left and right okay uh, if you bend it that side just holding on the motor on this side and then we can bend it in bend it in bend it in yeah okay so they bend it okay so keep bending oh okay and then keep going to the next one and then we're gonna hold it again and then we're gonna bend it and we're gonna bend it okay so this is how we adjust the brick disc uh of course if you hit the rock if you hit the hit the sidewalk hit the curb so we need a sandpaper to send it right here send it right here a little bit on the edge okay so this is temporary complete how to adjust all the um, the little parts from the bricks of course if, if this is a big problem we need to replace it but usually the brick this for me i can using two or three years because i know how to bend it so i always keep my eyes on that so i don't just make sure every two three weeks leave up the scooter on the air and roll it so you can you can hear the sound is perfect if you hear quick 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 then you know how to adjust up and down left and right uh, also how to get a space with the washer inside and how to bend the disc so in this case just make sure you don't lose this pin uh, this pin is very you can't get it from a market um, you just have to buy a whole brick pad brick pads are about five to eight dollar for one piece uh, ten to fifteen dollar for for one set somewhere around there the brick this is about 10 to 15 dollars it won't be too expensive o only on this style 
other style will be more expensive but usually we don't need to change anything um, if you know how to adjust it normally if you know how to adjust it they they can use for two years three years it depends minimum one two years uh, but you need to learn that detailly uh, learn a couple times uh, it won't be too difficult but keep them a try but just make sure save your finger because um key must be in somewhere or you can see it. nobody close to you then make sure you don't cut your finger um just make sure be safe